Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take care of your Glowforge Spark. The information in this video applies to our Glowforge Personal Series, which includes both Glowforge Spark and Glowforge Aura. I'll be using Glowforge Aura in this demonstration, but you can follow the same steps with your Glowforge Spark. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge, and today I'm going to show you how to unbox your new personal filter and get it working with your Glowforge Aura. So let's get started. If you haven't already set up your Aura, check out our other video, Unboxing Your Aura Printer. Then come back when you're ready. Shall we get started? Let's open up the box. The first thing you'll see is the power cord. Set that aside for now and then remove the top packing insert. Now we can lift the filter out of the box by the handle and remove the plastic bag. Then we're gonna open it up by lifting the lid at the notch here. You'll see a yellow warning notice on the top. You can take this off and then lift the cartridge out by its handle. Next, let's remove the cartridge from the plastic bag and put the cartridge back into the filter, lining up the green mark on the filter case. It'll slide into the notch at the bottom. And to make sure it's inserted correctly, try to turn the cartridge using the handle. It should stay firmly in place. Finally, put the lid back on the filter so the notch on the lid lines up and the lid fits snugly in place. Next, we need the white hose that came in your Aura printer box. Attach one end to the filter intake and the other end to the exhaust port on the back of your Aura. Make sure there were no more than two 90 degree bends in the hose. Also, the hose should be either lateral width or below your Aura. And if the hose goes up from your Aura to the personal filter, it's much harder for air to move through it. In this example, we've placed the filter on the floor below where we've set up the Aura. Like your Aura printer, your personal filter doesn't have a power switch. It'll turn on when you plug it in and it will start looking for your Aura via Bluetooth automatically. Because of this, it's important to make sure your Aura is plugged in first. And if you've had your Aura plugged in for longer than half an hour, unplug it and plug it back in again. That'll make sure that your Aura and the personal filter are ready to find each other. On the front of your filter, there's a status button. You'll see it blink blue for a few seconds as your personal filter connects to your Aura. After everything's plugged in, check the connection in the Glowforge app at app.glowforge.com. And by the way, if you haven't already, you'll need to connect your Aura to Wi-Fi by visiting setup.glowforge.com. Simply click on the Aura printer icon in the upper right corner and you'll see that the personal filter is connected and ready to go. You don't need to do anything to start filtering. Whenever you start a print, as long as your filter is powered on and connected via Bluetooth, it will automatically start filtering while your print is happening and stop shortly after printing completes. And that's it, congrats, your personal filter is completely installed. If you're ready to see it in action, check out our Printing Your First Design video, which is part of the Aura Print Basics video series in our Help and Learning Center on support.glowforge.com.